हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्लीन कोडर यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम नंबर 64 मिनिमम पाथ सम सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एट लीड कोड वेबसाइट क्विकली ओके सो दिस इज अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम लेट्स गो थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट given a m cross n grid filled with non negative numbers find a path from top left to bottom right which minimizes the sum of all numbers along its path okay so they have also given a note you can only move either down or right at any point in time okay let's see this example so uh, this is the uh, grid which they have given to us and there is a weight assigned to each cell so we are supposed to move from this uh, top left cell to bottom right cell and we are supposed to uh, move only in downward or rightward direction okay and we need to minimize the sum uh, along the path we are moving so in this example clearly if we want to uh, minimize the sum we can take this route so the minimum sum is 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 7 uh, okay so example 2 you can uh, go through on your own for better understanding let's check the constraints uh, m is the grid length okay n is uh, the grid of i dot length mm, these are basically rows and columns and it is telling that the rows and columns are uh, between 1 to 200 and the elements inside the grid can take any value between 0 to 100 so the numbers are not really large so i think uh, int would also be sufficient uh, we know we need not go with long or any large data type so let's move to our whiteboard now okay so uh, let me uh, just give you a demo on this test case like what we are supposed to do so this is the source okay and this is the destination okay so at this moment i can either go this way okay i'll change the color at this moment i can either go this way or this way okay so like if i try to go uh, this way okay now i have two choices either i need to go to this way or this way okay so we we want to minimize the path sum and if we want to minimize we need to ignore both 4 and 5 so what we can do instead is to start from here and move right actually so we are not thinking greedily here because if we were thinking greedily then we have would have been moving towards uh, this one only but we are moving towards 3 so we have reached here now again we have two choices we can either move here or here uh we will continue moving right okay now once we reach this cell now we have only one choice we can only move down so we can only move down and this is our uh, path This is a minimum sum path. So minimum path is clearly one plus three plus one plus one plus one, which is seven. Okay. So this was the test case. Just I wanted to explain you before uh, moving on to the solution. So uh, let's move to our next slide. So I just want you to. pause for a second and think why greedy solution would fail in this possible problem like uh, why greedy solution is not giving us the correct result because frankly speaking greedy solutions are really really optimized in comparison to dynamic uh, pro programming based solution uh, because uh, they are like super fast and uh, they consume less time complexity so we always need to think about in greedy direction first before 
moving towards the DP side. So we need to first fail the greedy solution, then we can uh, move towards the DP side. So in the next slide, I have just given a simple test case which which would confirm uh, our belief that uh, greedy solution won't work in this scenario. So you consider this test case, okay? So this is my source. I am starting from here. Okay, I'm starting from here. So if we think greedily, uh, what would I have would have been chosen? Uh, I would always choose the minimum one. So among two and one, I would have chosen one. Okay, so I have moved moved downward. So my path would have been this. But like once I choose this path, now I have no option. Like either I need to choose this hundred, or I need to move to right or choose this one. So if I choose like this uh, one and I move towards right, then again I have two options. I can either choose 200 or I choose one. So clearly I just want to re-emphasize that by direct comparison among the possible uh, states and directly choosing the minimum value, we can't uh, guesstimate like whether uh, that path would lead to the actual minimum path or not right so uh, we can't actually guesstimate whether uh, that would actually lead to the minimum path or not so that's why greedy solution is failing here so uh, now let's uh, see how we can solve this problem with dynamic programming base solution okay so this is uh, my source this is my destination i have taken the same test case okay this is my auxiliary array okay this separate array which i am taking separate 2d matrix okay so uh, the, the source value i have directly copied now i need to check all the possibilities okay what would happen if i move towards the row okay so uh, i'll add one to two so at here i have only one possibility of reaching with the cost three okay so from here if i want to reach here i have only one possibility to reach with cost three plus one four okay so this is the only possibility now let's check along the first column also so using similar logic uh, if, if i want to move here i have only one possibility of moving with path two okay so here i have only one possibility uh, moving with path uh, 102 okay so i have uh, completed my first row and first column now let's start from this cell okay so from this cell uh, what we can say is uh, how would how we would reach this cell you just need to analyze this how we would reach this cell this cell either would be coming from here or would be coming from here okay so what we need to do is we need to take the minimum of these two like minimum of two and three would be two and let's add that to this cell value okay so minimum of two and three is two plus one is three so the minimum cost of reaching here is three and the path is this okay the path is this i have just dotted it okay so now let's check uh, this uh, cell so here you can reach either like uh, this or you can reach like this okay three uh three plus one minimum of three and four is three so three plus one four so the uh, minimum cost of reaching this cell is four and using similar logic uh, for this cell you can either uh, come from here or here okay so uh, the minimum of 102 and 3 is uh, 3 and 200 adding to that is 203 okay so in this cell uh, you can reach either from here or here so minimum of 203 and 4 is uh, 4 and uh, adding one to that is five so my minimum cost path is 
5 so which path is that that path is this okay this is my minimum cost path okay so uh, whatever we have done here uh, we just need to do that iteratively like it's super simple uh, let me show uh, you the code snippet which i use to uh, implement this problem and we are going to have a code walkthrough and uh, positively we will have a far better understanding okay so this is the minimum path sum uh, function given to us and this is the grid which is uh, given to us the grid is nothing but this uh, uh, values or weights to different different cells so this is given to us i am making a auxiliary array uh, of similar dimension okay of same dimension i am making a auxiliary array okay then this is nothing but a simple uh, like nested for loop I, I i am moving like uh, this this direction okay here and then here and then here like row wise i am moving and then uh, i am going to the next row and then next row okay like i am i am changing the columns and then next row and then iterating the columns and then next row this this fashion i am iterating this loop so let's check uh, these two blocks these are nothing but the uh, base condition like uh, if statements okay so uh, let's check this first so if i is zero if j is zero this means that the first cell so for the first cell i can directly write the values okay i can directly write one here okay and for the rest of the entries in the first row for rest of the columns in the first row it is just saying that uh, add uh, these values so add one two three so this would be four and add four to one this would be five okay so move uh, just uh, like this and uh, similarly this column is also saying that only so uh, the value here that would come would be uh, one plus one two and uh, then uh, 4 plus 2 6 okay so these uh, if conditions would just uh, make this this uh, these first row and first column value so uh, let's start from this column now okay now for this this cell uh, these if statements uh, won't work so we would be up to this statement so what it is saying mat dot min ox of i j minus 1 plus grid of i j comma ox of i minus 1 j plus grid of i j okay basically it is saying uh, take the minimum of uh, this and this okay and add this value to that so minimum of this and this is two and adding the five to that uh, would be uh, seven okay so two plus five is seven so i'll write seven here and uh, similarly i have uh, two options of reaching here okay either uh, this or this cool so so for uh, uh, reaching this i'll do minimum of uh, five and seven that would be five and adding one to that uh, that would give me six okay i'll write six here now i'll move to the next cell okay minimum of uh, six and seven is six and adding adding two to that uh, would give me uh, eight and similarly minimum of 6 and 8 would be 6 and adding 1 to that would give me 7 so the value at the bottommost rightmost cell is my answer so the answer is 7 okay so let's compare uh, i have already written answer here so these two are same that means we our algorithm is fine and we have solved the problem uh, correctly so i hope uh, you have understood the algorithm and uh, the code walkthrough is clear to you and let, let's move to the next part uh, of understanding time and space complexity for the problem 
okay so the time complexity is quite straightforward uh, it is uh, o of rows or, or rows into columns so if there are n rows and if there are m columns so the time complexity would be o of n cross m and we are using a auxiliary array of same size so uh, the space complexity would be o of n cross m again if n are rows and m are columns okay so this is the space complexity so this was all i wanted to talk about this uh, minimum path uh, sum problem so if you like my tutorial and if you like my code walkthrough and explanation please please do subscribe my channel clean coder it gives a lot of motivation to me to make these uh, simplifying tutorials and videos uh, for you so thanks a lot for watching